I first learned about cold approaching a few years ago when I was watching a few YouTube videos from uh, Jack Denmo. What he would do is he'd have a line for a video and he'd just go up to girls at uh, universities and try to get their numbers using the line. That honestly inspired me. I wanted to do the same. I wanted to go out there and start picking up girls and shit and as cringe as it sounds, but but do you think I did it? Of course not. I was the loser sitting in my room all day watching cringy YouTube videos on how to get girls instead of actually going out there and trying to get girls. But eventually I fell in love with weightlifting and bodybuilding and after a year of working out I discovered self-improvement. And then from there, the first month at the beginning of this year, 2022, I made a mission for myself to start going up to girls, start approaching girls and start trying to get numbers. And I, would, I had a tracker, I'll put it on screen if I can find a photo of it. I had a tracker, I wanted to track how many times I went up to girls, how many times I had conversations, and how many times I actually got the phone number. And I set this up as a tracker so I could keep up my XP. For the first two weeks, this was in school. Every day during lunch at school, I would, I would roam around the halls, fucking like a loser, man, by myself, because I figured if I was with a friend, you know, I'd be talking to him with my boy, you know, we'd be talking about something. And then if I saw a girl and I wanted to go out to her, I'd have to ditch his conversation. It would be awkward and shit. Went around the halls alone at lunch and every time I'd pass a girl, it'd be the same thing. I would look at her, I'd think, okay, I want to go up to her, but I just wouldn't. Every time I, every time I miss an opportunity, I hated myself for it. And every day I went home from school just thinking I was a fucking failure. And this happened for two weeks. But then it was a Friday, actually. This was lunch. I went outside the school at the front. You know, this is where everyone, you know, hangs out when they come out for lunch. I saw this girl. She was decently attractive, so I said, fuck it. I walked up to her, legs shaking, you know, full of anxiety. I didn't even, ah, uh, I didn't even know what to say. I, I just said, I said, hi, I'm Johnny. Uh, can, can I get your number? And I studied it. I studied it and everything, you know. I didn't even fucking say it properly. I had a fragile voice, you know, I wasn't talking with conviction like I am now. I was talking like a little bitch. She, oh, I was so cringe, man. She left and then walked away. She didn't even say anything. <laughs> she was like, oh, I gotta go. And she just, she just zoomed off. And I did get her name, though. I did get her name. So that was, that was something. <laughs> it stung pretty bad, but my boys were there to, to cheer me up. So it wasn't, it wasn't all that bad. But, but I remember after that approach, that whole, the, for the rest of lunch, I was just so happy. I felt so accomplished. I, I forced myself to get out of my comfort zone and do something. And that was the start of my journey of trying to start cold approaching girls. And I went through the trials and tribulations of embarrassing myself, stuttering, anxiety, panic attacks, saying a bunch of stupid bullshit, girls with boyfriends and everything. And I did get a, a fair share of numbers throughout that journey. But that leads me to today where this week I got, I think it was my best approach ever. It's the first week of school. Well, the first day, let me, let me just tell you this story. The first day I get out of my cab, it's the front of, I'm at the front of the school. So the front doors are here. I'm like, I'm about here. The front doors are here and this girl is here. She's like at the side, right? And I start walking and I see her. I notice her, I'm like, oh shit, let's. And I thought about it for like a split second. I was like, fuck it, let's go. And she was kind of walking this way. I was walking to her friend or whatever. I stopped her. I started a conversation and Fuck, bro, I impressed myself, man. I was smooth with it, too. I started a conversation. You know, I still had anxiety because, you know, that's how it goes. I had a conversation. She was just smiling. She was smiling the whole time, you know. You know, I was having fun. I got her number, and she she did those things that girls do this sometimes. I'm like, okay, I'll take your number, and then I got to run. They, like, do the thing, like, with, like, my number. Like, you want my number? <laughs> like, it sounds fucking cringe when I do it, but like, they almost are, like, like, surprised. Like, damn, like, this guy just came up to me. This guy outgoing guy just asked for my number like you, you would think that uh pretty girls or hot girls that that they must get it all the time that but you no know, i realized through this uh, journey that nobody fucking goes up to girls anymore like obviously these girls are getting attention hot pretty girls get attention but it's not in real life anymore it's always on fucking screens it's always on fucking snapchat guys snapping them all that fucking but these pretty girls have never had a guy that they've never met come up to them i start a conversation with them and then ask for their number. They've never had that before. And that wasn't even my best approach. My best approach happened the next day, second day of school. I saw this girl, this, this might count as cheating because I, I knew the girl, I've seen her around before. I never actually met her or uh, talked with her, but I've seen her around before. So maybe it's cheating, I don't fucking know. You can let me know. But, but I saw her, she was, this is at the front of the school again. She was on the opposite side. I saw her and I actually thought about it for like a minute because I did, I have seen her around before friend group that I was hanging with at the time they went inside the school so then I took that 
prime opportunity. I was like, you guys are leaving. I'll go get this girl's number before I leave. So I walked up to her. I asked for her name. I introduced myself. I had a fun conversation, you know, talking about this and that. I asked for the number, you know, and I, and I got it. Like, this girl was fucking pretty, man. Like, pretty blonde girl, right? But I get her number, and I walk away feeling like the fucking man, bro. Like, when you have that fucking confident energy, and you go up to the girl you're attracted to, and you ask for a number, and you fucking get it, it's the, like, it's the fucking best feeling, man. You feel like, ah, I hope you feel it someday, man. I hope you feel that feeling, because it is unmatched. But this, this doesn't sound like most guys' story. So in this video, I'm going to take you through the advice that worked for me to cold approach girls. And of course, all the pussies right now are saying to themselves, but I can't attract girls because I wasn't born with a sharp jawline and I'm 5'2 and only hot guys can get girls. Yes, physical attractiveness is very important. I'm not going to lie to you and say that it's not important. In the modern day, physical attractiveness, it gets you in the door. It gets you in the door for relationships. Obviously, your, your social skills, your personality, that comes after. And hearing that, most guys will get discouraged because, oh, the, 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 the five, two, and like, most guys focus on things that they can't change. They focus on their height. They focus on their face, facial uh, attributes. They focus on fucking uh, a, def a defect or deformity in their, in their face or whatever bullshit. Why would you focus on that? Why would you focus on things you can't change? But my advice is to focus on things that you can change. Because why, why would you focus on something you can't change? That's, that is the de definition of a waste of time. Focusing on something that you can't change. Actually I, know, I know, actually, I know the reason why you focus on things that you can't change. Because it's an excuse. It's not, the, the reason you can't get girls is not because of your, your, your that you lack the, the jawline or that you're too short or that you have too big of a nose. It's not any of that bullshit. That's just an excuse. So you don't have to put in the hard work and go out there and get out of your comfort zone. Because you don't want to do that. You want to stay behind your little screen. You want to stay behind your screen on Snapchat, snapping girls, fucking the, the corner of your fucking face. Like a fucking little loser, little, like a fucking little bitch, man. Like a little bitch taking photos of you. Let me snap this girl. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? I think Snapchat's for dorks, to be honest. Instagram too. Snapchat and Inst If you meet girls and talk to girls on social media, then I, I, don't, I don't have respect for you. So my advice is to focus on what you can change. And the number one thing you can change, that you can affect, that you can have effect on and impact on to increase your physical attractiveness is your body. It's your physique. Because you can go to the gym and you can gain muscle and lose fat. That's something you can change, that you can change. Right now, today, you can go go to the gym right now and of course that's a long process and it's it's difficult and it's uncomfortable and it's painful and it takes time but nobody said this was going to be easy nobody said attracting girls is going to be easy if it was easy you would have done it already go to the gym go to the gym for one year get a six pack get a six pack get jacked get your dream body and then come and tell me that you can't get girls because of the way you look but you won't why are you rejecting yourself why are you rejecting yourself before you can even give the girl that you're attracted to the chance to reject you? And all the feminist weasels will say, oh, the, 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 but going up to girls is creepy. Oh, the, the girls don't want to be disturbed. You don't actually think that. As long as you're going up to girls during the day in public and you're not saying some creepy shit to her and you're just trying to have a conversation with her and go up to her and respectfully ask for her number. As a man, you have the right to do so. And if for whatever reason you just think that you can't go up to girls because you weren't born a certain way or you're just not that type of guy, going up to girls is a skill. Just like any skill, it can be built up through practice. You have to have a growth mindset. The mindset that you, you may suck at going up to girls right now, but if you practice, if you keep on doing it, if you, keep, if you force yourself to keep on doing it, you will improve. Step zero to attract girls and get girls' phone numbers is to increase your value as a man. The long-term way to attract girls is to increase your value. But the fact is that most guys are fucking skinny as shit, fucking twigs. They can't hold a conversation for their life. They're broke and all they do all day is sit inside their house playing video games. Why would a girl be attracted to that? Why would a girl be attracted to a guy who doesn't have enough respect for himself to stop doing all those bad habits, to stop jerking off to porn, to stop scrolling on Instagram, wasting time? And this is the answer that no guy wants to hear. You want to hear me talk about all the 10 openers to use, 10... Uh, what words to say, uh, the, the eye contact and body language. The thing is, those I used to watch all those videos. I used to watch all those uh, 
uh, body language videos, you know, like body language breakdowns and uh, confident body language and all that shit. But the thing is, if you've watched those videos yourself, you know that once you go out into an actual social situation, you, you just forget everything you learned in the video. All those uh, things that you should say, the way you should say them, the way your, your posture and your body language, you just forget it because it's unnatural to you. But once you increase your value as a man, once you, once you start becoming a high value man and you're confident in who you are, you're gonna display confident body language just naturally. You don't even have to think about it. And I say this all the time, your mental and your physical are closely linked. Your psychology and your physiology are closely linked. So if you're confident up here, then you're going to display confidence in your body. And it also goes the other way. If you display confidence in your body, then you also feel more confident in your head. And there's actually studies about this. There's studies that uh, holding power poses, like I, I hold this pose all the time where I like, I'm just, my hands are on my waist, you can't really see, but my hands are on my waist and I'm just relaxing, you know, laid back. And there's actually studies that show that that body language Doing that actually uh, makes you more confident, makes you feel more confident. And it's because uh, what I said, your mental and your physical are very closely linked. So if you affect one, then you're affecting the other. So you might hear that and think that, oh, I got I to gotta have the, the confident body language. Uh, what, what should I do to, so I can make my mind? No, 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 no. That is the short term method. And you can read books about it, like, like the book, The Charisma Myth, which talks about body language and a bunch of shit like that for social skills and for charisma. But like I said earlier, you forget everything you fucking read. Like I said, that is a surface level fix because all the body language, you can watch, you can watch a million fucking videos on what body language to show, but you're gonna fucking forget it when you go up to that girl. And the number one way to increase your value as a man, in my opinion, is to start going to the gym and start focusing on building your body. I have a video on how to start building muscle as a skinny guy. So if you're interested in that, you can watch that. Step one is the one foot after the other mindset. When you go up to a girl or when you want to go up to a girl, you see her and then what happens? You see her and then you start, you start thinking, uh, oh, what, what should I say? What opener should I use? Uh, the, uh, the eye contact. You start overthinking and then you don't go up to her. If you see a girl and then you hesitate and you stop to think about it, you're not going to go up to her because once you stop in your tracks and then you give time for yourself to think, you're going to think about all the excuses as to why you can't do it or why you shouldn't do it. Or you start thinking about, uh, you start overcomplicating things. Or you, what should you do? Of course, anxiety makes this 10 times worse because you start thinking about all the negative things that can happen. Uh, what if you get embarrassed? If everyone stops and points and laughs at you, all the worst case scenarios. But the way to get around that is to approach instantly. The second you see that girl, go up to her. Start moving your foot one after the other and don't even think about it. Once you see a girl, start moving. Put one foot after the other. That's all you got to focus on. That's all you should think about, putting one foot, moving one foot towards her. And right now, because we've never gone up to a girl before, that first foot forward is progress. You might think that's stupid, but we have to start small. You've never gone up to a girl in your fucking life. You never even had, a, a, you never even had the confidence to tell a girl that you've been attracted, that you think she's cute. You've never had the confidence to tell a girl that you like her. So what makes you think that now all of, all of a sudden that, oh, uh, uh, you're, that you're too good to put your first foot forward and call that as a win? No, we need to start small here or else you're not going to fucking do it. If today you decide to go out and you see a girl and you want to go up to her and then to you in your mind that a success would be getting the girl's number, you're not going to fucking do it. You're not. Because even if you go up to her, the first time you go up to a girl, it's fucking, it's shit. So you're probably not going to get her number. And then you're going to be discouraged. In order to not get discouraged, you have to start small. Plus, once you put your first foot forward, naturally you'll put your second. And then you'll keep going and you keep walking. And then eventually you're in front of her. So that you have to say something anyway. And once you start moving, you stop thinking. If you give too much time for you to start thinking, then you're not going to do it. Because all the excuses and all... All of the worst uh, scenarios. So we want to approach instantly. So use the mindset one foot after the other. Step two is to speak and say something stupid. Most guys want to learn about uh, the, the top 10 openers to use on a girl. Uh. When I first told my story on uh, getting that girl's number uh, last week, most guys watching that probably thought, uh, the, 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 what, 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 what opener did you use? What line did you say first? And that's the biggest problem. You're too focused on what you have to say. You're too focused on saying the right thing. That's one of the biggest reasons guys don't go up to girls because they don't know what to say first. And the thing is, I could tell you the most brilliant line. I could tell you some funny thing to say or thing to say with the highest percentage chance of getting her number. That perfect line doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. 
There's no perfect line you can say to a girl that will get her to give you her number. And even if there was and I gave it to you, it wouldn't fucking matter. Because you still wouldn't go up to her. Because you wouldn't have the social skills anyway to have a conversation with her. But the only way to learn how to talk to girls is to start talking to girls. Because the first time you go up to a girl, like I said, it's going to be shit. But the second time, you'll be a little, just a little bit better. And the third time and the fourth. But by the 100th time you went up to a girl, once you go up to a girl 100 times, you're going to be probably, you're going to probably be a lot better. Yeah? Of course you would be. Because you've done it 100 times. Just naturally, you would improve by doing it so many times. That's the mindset we have to have here. So when you go up to that girl, say anything. Say something stupid. That's what I did, bro. I do that all the fu- Bro, all the fucking time, bro. Every fucking time I go up to a girl, I say something dumb. I, I say so- We have a conversation. I say something stupid. What you have to do is just let yourself speak. Speak what- whatever you're thinking about. Just say it. Because if you go up to a girl with a, a line already in your head, you're not gonna, it's not gonna come out natural. You're gonna come out all forced and all forced and calculated and, then, and that's not gonna be attractive. What's attractive is a guy who can go up to a girl and say whatever he feels like and say, say whatever is in his head, speak his mind to her and be honest. A guy who doesn't have to have a script on his hand so he knows what to say to a girl. A guy who's just confident in who he is so he can just go up to a girl and say whatever. That's the guy we wanna become. If you're seriously struggling with something to say, when in doubt, introduce yourself and ask for a name that's the absolute most simplest way to start a conversation step three approach everywhere at least for right now right now you need the practice so you have to go up to girls even if you're not that attracted to them and remember you don't have to marry this girl you just need the practice before you can go up to that hot girl that girl that's your exact type the girl that you want the the girl that you're absolutely attracted to you have to go up to the girls that are less attractive so there's less stakes. You have to go up to every girl you can right now so you can have the practice. So when that hot girl does come around, you can have that confidence and the social skills built up so you can just go up to her and guarantee get her number. And you can read all the theory you want. You can read all the books. You can watch all the cringy YouTube videos on it. But the only way to learn how to go up to girls and get their numbers is to start doing it. And it, bro, and it's hard, man. It's, it's not easy, bro. To this day, bro, it's not easy to go up to a girl. It takes, it takes fucking balls to do that. But it is, like I said, man, it is worth the pursuit. And that feeling you get when you go up to that girl and you walk away with her number in your phone and, you know, I, there's people around to watch, you know, you, and you have that smile on your face, you're walking up standing tall. I hope you feel that feeling eventually. I hope you do. I want more guys approaching girls. I want that competition. But one of the things that I learned from, you know, going on this mission, you know, going on this journey of approaching girls, getting numbers, is that most guys have never gone up to a girl in their life. Like, most guys have never gone up to a girl they haven't met and started a conversation, like, ever. I haven't seen it once. Like, I've seen guys that are like, oh, what's your snap? You know, like, fucking dumbasses, right? Fucking dorks, right? But I've never seen a guy with, I've never seen a guy with confidence go up to a girl and just, Hey, how are you, how are you doing? Like, like, I've never seen, like, I've never fucking seen that before. Like, I've never seen that before. Not, not even fucking once. And the girls that I go up to, they haven't seen that before. So when I go up to them, what do you think? What do you think they're thinking? Oh, this guy's awkward as fuck. Yeah, yeah, they're thinking that too. But I know that for the most, most of the girls I go up to, I know that they've never met a guy like me. And that's, that's fucking pretentious as fuck to say. That's arrogant as fuck to say, but it's the truth. They've never met a guy that had the confidence to do something like that. And I, I, I want that to change, man. I don't like being alone doing this. Like, I want when I'm walking with my boys, when I'm walking with my friends, that we see a hot girl and, and we turn to each other and we're like, all right, who's going to get the number first? Like, I want, that, I want that friendly competition. Like, we've lost that as men, that friendly competition to beat each other at this shit. I think the first time that I went up to a girl and actually got her number, not her snap, but actually got her number, was my fourth approach. Beat me. Get it on your third. You should look at a guy like me and be like, this guy ain't shit, I can, I can do better than this guy. I'll get it on my third. Beat me. Don't be afraid to give up the good for the great. Peace out.